bus was giving some visitors a tour of the island of Soda. It was their last afternoon, and Edward was preparing to take them to meet Bill and Ben. He found it hard to start the heavy train. Did you see him straining? asked Henry. Positively painful, remarked James. Just pathetic, grunted Gordon. He should give up and be preserved before it's too late. Shut up, burst out Duck. You're all jealous. Edward's better than any of you. You're right, Duck, said Boko. Edward's old, but he'll surprise us all. I've done it. We're off. I've done it. We're off, said Edward, as he finally puffed out of the station. to see the visitors. They loved being photographed. Later, they took the party to the China Clay Works in a break van special. splendid time and the visitors were most impressed then Edward took the visitors home <laughs> We've loosened the couplings, Edward. Now you can pick up your coaches one by one, just as you do with freight cars. That'll be much easier, said Edward. Come on, he puffed and moved cautiously forward. The first coach moving helped to start the second, and the second helped the third. Henry was waiting for the visitors with the special train. Beep! Beep! Sir Topham Hatt angrily pointed to... Henry was waiting for the visitors with the special train. Beep! 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 Hatt angrily pointed to the clock, but excited passengers cheered and thanked Edward, his driver and fireman. Duck and Boko 
Cardinal saw to it that Edward was left in peace. Gordon and James remained respectfully silent.